Hello everyone, welcome to my video. Today in this video, together we will model this part. Let's start together. First let me close parts. And I open a new part in SOLIDWORKS and I create a sketch in Form Plane. First thing what I'm going to do, create a rectangle. Rectangle with center and the dimensions will be 25 by 60. To this operation, we close sketch, we go sheet metal, base flange tab. Thickness will be 2 mm, the rest stays how it is. Here we click hem, and the last option, roll will be selected, and we select this edge. The angle of operation is 300, and the diameter is 3.1. Once we are done with this operation, we look normal too and create here a sketch. So we can place here a line to be able to identify our center. And then I place here one more rectangle and then I will drop something like this. This will be 30. And we are not so much interested with this length, but simply we can coincide it to this point. And once we are done with that, we could cut it, but I would like to add also my holes. So two holes I drop here and I select three objects and I make symmetric. So now the diameters are symmetric and also positions are symmetric. It is very convenient to use such features. We have 40 mm here and we have here a distance of 8. So diameter will be 4.5. It is good. We close sketch, extrude cut, both sides true of true all. So everything will be cut. Once we are done with this, we can introduce Fillet. Fillet operation. Fillet radius is 3 and 2 edges selected. By this way, we completed our first part. So I can save this one. X P1. Example part 1. Second is the, the arm, or we could call it lever sketch and here I have a line and I draw something like this length is 80 this is 25 here I have a bending radius or of 4 something like this we could close close sketch go to the swap for space so color profile will allow us to use a diameter and we will say it is 6. So this operation is good. And then I'm going to introduce a chamfer here. This will be an asymmetric chamfer. So I use this one, the ND, and asymmetric. So one is 5, while the other is 1. So something like this we get and a little jump also here will be nice which is 0.25 part second also good xp2 we save them so we can create now an assembly create a new assembly invite xp1 insert components select xp2 just click on the screen so they are here we right click on this one we say float and then we select origin and assembly origin and made them it's okay selected made this diameter here and also i will eliminate this rotation for now i will save font plane 
and the front plane of the SA will be coincident. It's good. We drop it like this, and now we are going to introduce some circlip. We come here, then retaining rings, external log washer, and the diameter sensitive is 6. We're going to choose a groove shaft range 5 to 7 this operation and the groove diameter will be 4 groove width is 0 7 4 this is good insert components lock washer here we dropped it and I select this face select this one I made coincident so I know estimationally my point. I'm going to open this one. I select this surface, create here a sketch. First, I convert outer diameter. Secondly, I will introduce the internal diameter, which is 4. Here we say OK, extrude cut. I will say an offset of 29 this side and I cut out length of 0 0.75 this will be 29 rise sorry yes this is also good we can close it we close this part save yes and where is that part it is here and these two surface will be coincident so now we define our final position so we can use this face and this edge it is good and now we know how high our spring should be we go to evaluate measure this edge to this one it is what it says 29.3 so we want even in idle position some pushing force so then we will make our length of spring a bit bigger and we know internal diameter of the spring is 6 we create a new part on top plane we may do that sketch a circle here I will say internal diameter is 7.5 after this operation I'm going to create a helix pitch and revolution will be there this will be an uh, variable pitch so first pitch is 0 0.5 second is 1 and then I will continue 4 sorry this should be 2.5 Two and a half, two and a half, two, two and a half to thirteen, twelve, and then we produce as we did in the beginning, and then zero point five to fourteen. So it starts very close to each other, ends very close to each other. This is the way. It is thirty and save so this is nice we select here swap for space we select this guy circular profile and i'm going to introduce my diameter it takes some computational force from my computer because this will not work there was a 10 millimeter diameter so we get some strange uh, visuality so we say 0, 7, uh, 4, 9. I do not say 0, 0.7.5 because in that case here two surfaces will touch each other and program will not allow me to continue operation. So let's say this is okay. A little bit cheat sometimes program. Solidworks frequently gives zero thickness error when this kind of things happens or it's not going to create the model for you. 
So, uh, while I was walking, I made some operation. Because we start from plane, and where the uh, planes are constant, this location, I can use to cut the surface, which is surface cut. If you do not have this guy here, you can find under uh, cut, cut with surface, this guy. Now I'm going to select top plane and I will create a third mean matter plane. So this here, we can again cut, we need to change direction. This looks good. Top plane and origin is selected. I will create an axis which I can use for aligning. So I save my part. And after this operation, I go to assembly. I will bring part here. XP3. Yes, looks good. Axis and the surface will be coincident or less concentric. And this surface will be touching here. So you will notice it is a little bit longer because it has to give some force in the beginning. Otherwise we could a little bit reduce. Maybe you're gonna ask me how I did the other uh, view with a retracted version. So simply you select your spring and you save it and change your uh, pitch. That was it. It was a rather simple video, but again it covers whole working principle of SOLIDWORKS and some basic functions. I think the most difficult part was here to create this sp spring. The rest is very straightforward. If you like it, please hit the like button and make a comment. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Bye bye.